Hey beauties, if you have not yet made Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, please feel free to do so. He's the best being ever and certainly that would be the best decision you could ever make. Listen to me now, beautiful people. Let us make 2024 the best year we can make it be. And that is intentionality in being kind, generous, giving to the best of our abilities. Give what we would want for ourselves, be it cash, be it kind. You know, I remember some years ago I went into Juicy Beef and I wanted to buy some breakfast, I think it was. I don't remember what took place. You know, like a gentleman thought that um I had gotten a spot that he was supposed to get or buy something of the sort. And he said, you know what, I'm, may I pay for your breakfast? And I said, sure. Because they always say, sometimes you would say no, you know, because, you know, you might think that this person is trying to make a move on you and there's something sinister behind it or something sexual behind it. Not in all cases. And that is why the Bible says, welcome people because and give to people because when you do so, you're, you're, welcoming, you're welcoming angels and you're allowing that blessing to come back to that individual. That is why it's not good to always refuse. You have to have, ask God for that gift of discernment, that intuition, that gut feeling, that unction to know when to hold, when to fold, when to walk, when to run, when to take, when not to take. You know, we think sometimes people only do it because they don't want to seem licky, licky, niami, niami, beggy, beggy. No, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just as how you give things, you want somebody to receive it. Can you imagine? Think about it. For those of you who are very given, if everything that you've given, people tell you no. It's going to affect you. Went us away. So what I'm offering, they don't like, especially if you know it is a good gift. We're not talking a wishy washy, hairy, fairy sort of thing, you know. Some here I'm scare I'm, as Jamaicans would say. We're talking good, good gifts, whether whether it's cash, whether it's kind. You want to know that um they accept it. No, please don't always run with things that are, you know, sometimes people come with necromancy things. I say necromancy things where they talk about if it, you have to be careful when you take money from people, spend it because they could have done some witch. Listen to me. There's a scripture that I read some time ago, and I'm not saying that we must not be wise. You know, say a prayer if anything. I say, Lord, cancel any evil at me that person may have tried. Remember when Paul was going to, it was in the island of Patmos, and the snake bit him. No, they know that once a snake like that should bite you. Dead your dead as neat. You're supposed to dead, 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 dead. So when they saw that happening to him, the snake bit him. They said, okay, this man definitely, my God, dead. In any minute now, 10 minutes past, 20, 40, one, you know. That's so weird. What the heck? The man not even, him not even flickering. him not even shaking. Him, he's not throwing up. He's not having diarrhea. Nothing at all. This man must be a God. This man has to be a God. Oh, what the heck? Does he understand what snake just bit him? It's almost like a poisonous, what you'd say, rattle venom or, or awake all those, ve um, the, the venomous snakes there, the rattlesnake or the, the cobra or the, there's another one, python or whatnot. You know, it's, it's a similar, it's almost like one of them biting you the right and proper way and you just turn up the like a water you drink, like it's water they released in your system. That's supposed to paralyze you and kill you and nothing happened to the man of God. So the enemy set something for him. The enemy set a trap that was spawned by the enemy and it never worked. So in other words, what I'm simply saying to you, don't just run with everything. You're going to think that somebody's doing some obey. Even if they're doing that, there's a scripture that says, if the Lord does not decree it, it cannot happen. If you're covered under the blood of Jesus Christ, you have nothing to worry about. Again, I'm not saying that we must not be cautious. I'm not saying that we must not be wise. But you have to reach to the place of trust and faith in God. That you don't sit down every day and think that, oh God, somebody's doing something evil. If they are that, it's going to be on them. Was it um, Pharaoh with Moses? I think it was when whatever he had decreed in terms of the killing of the firstborn is like, you know, that is what the, that's a message that basically Moses would have given to him. said, my God, the very thing that you said you wanted to do to us is what is going to happen to you and your people. All of your firstborn going to die. Die like a dog sort of a thing. When you give gifts, give what you would want for yourselves. Give what you would want for yourselves. I'm not saying that you must put yourselves in debt. That's not what I am saying. For example, I remember Joyce May said she had a red dress that she bought a brand new, very expensive, good red dress. And the selfish side of her didn't want to give it away. She had it there and like God told her who to give it to. And every time she looked at the dress, every now and then, the, the lady would come till she, she conceded and yielded to the spirit of God and gave it to the lady. Because she was saying, but this is too much for her. Why should I give her this expensive dress? It's like a Louis Vuitton bag. I have a friend. He said, you know, sometimes it's, um, 
sort of associate and friend of his would go abroad and bring back the best of the best and give him leather shoes, good leather shoes, Louis Vuitton things, brand name things, give to him and give to him. And this is an ordinary man. We're not talking somebody of you would say wealth, fame and fortune that you would say, oh, because he's a wealthy man, why I'm giving him something like that? No, because that's what we give sometimes, you know, if we perceive the person to come out of the garbage pan, we give them garbage things. If we perceive them to be middle class, we give them middle class things. If we perceive them to be upper class, we give them upper class things. That's how we are as a people. I've seen it. I don't do that. I, if I'm giving some, I, I must give the lower class, middle class and upper class the same thing. The same thing once I'm able to. Be cash, be kind, be taka, even, even the things that I say to them and how I treat them. Treat everyone the same. I don't care if you're rich, you're poor, you're famous, you look good, you're ugly or so. Once your name human being, because that's what the Bible says, I must love my neighbor as myself. It's not easy all the time. I will not get it all the time. I will make mistakes sometimes. Yes, because this flesh is imperfect. But I must be intentional consistently in doing good and giving good gifts. Let us try and promulgate that message this year. It's not going to be easy. Beautiful people, we will get distracted. But try not to get too distracted. If you have a nice pair of shoes and you know that it will fit this person, it doesn't matter if it's a Louis Vuitton, a Michael Kors bag, a Creed Perf um, Cologne, give it if you feel led to. If you want to do something good, give good gifts. Don't give what you do not want for yourselves. You may not be going up to all of those expensive things. If whatever you have, I just give that as an example to say, if you have that and you're able to give that, do that. If God says, give this person 100,000, 200, 10,000, 1,000, do it. Don't argue. Let us not, but not, not say, Lord, you know, say, I know, I mean, I think I've got to go. Why would I? No, because somehow money has tricked us. I was listening to something by Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart said, when you have money and you only use it on yourself, you're never happy. It's true. After a while, you're going to find yourself, well, you know, you want to do something for somebody because that's, that is a part of who we are. You can't just all, only want money and just only yourself alone. Yes, nobody else, not even a child, not even a wife, not even a husband. Else, nobody. You're not going to be in a cure. Why you do no happiness not going to come to you? You're going, you think you're going to feel happy. You buy the thing, but you realize that you feel nice about it. But 10 minutes later, you're going back into whatever is bothering you. Your own emotional roller coaster ways. Be kind, give good gifts. Sometimes sit down and say, you know, I have this pair of shoes, I have this bag, I have this shirt, I have this dress, I have some money, I have this to give, whoever it is. And mix your crowd. Don't just give to who you think. That is why the Bible says give to the poor and the needy. Some people can look good on the outside. When I say look good, physically good, you say, they might look at me and say, wow, this, that. But you don't know, maybe I need this, I maybe need that. You don't know. You can't, don't go by the outward appearance. Somebody told me if a man looked dirty and smelly and came into the bank and because she treated him as though he was clean and smelling good, he paid for one week at an all-inclusive, expensive hotel for her right here in Jamaica. She worked at NCB, I was told. Some years ago, somebody told a man, look dirty. Look, you don't think a poverty-stricken guy. And somebody came, and a lady went to church. She looked very good on the outward. And God moved upon a man's heart to give her some money. And he would look around, and he saw the lady. It's almost like looking at a Lisa Hanna sort of person. I just use her because, you know, she's a very beautiful woman. You know, and looks good and dresses well. Very well. It's like that. And they're like, give it that lady God. Are you sure? Because he's looking for somebody that, that looks shoddy, very shabby and unkempt. God said, give it. And when he gave her the lady bald, she never had a dollar to her name. She bald, cried. You understand? So this year, let us be a year of giving. It will come back to you. Listen to me, beautiful people. People, we cannot outgive God. We cannot listen to me. We cannot outgive God. If you put Elon Musk, we name Jeff Bezos, Donald Trump, Pope Winfrey, you name all wealthy people. Just put them all together. Put them all together in one room. They're poverty stricken compared to God. Poverty stricken. Look at Job. Job was wealthy like all like Elon Musk, you know, and God gave him double after he came out of the hill. So how can you outgive God? If he was already rich like an Elon Musk before the tragedy took him, and then he became wealthier. And look at Solomon as well. What does that tell you? What does that tell you, people? You cannot outgive God. You must get it back. The Bible says he makes the rain falls, fall on the just and the unjust, the righteous and the unrighteous. Once you do the follow the principles. All right, guys. So we're going to be kind this year. Kind, kind, kind. And giving, giving, giving. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.